हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे दी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू अवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ लाइट डिपेंडेंट रेजिस्टर एंड इट्स वर्किंग द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ सेंसर नेम्ड एज पी आई आर वॉट इज पी आई आर लेट सी पी आई आर और पैसिव इंफ्रारेड सेंसर इज ए सेंसर विच इज यूज टू डिटेक्ट द मोशन दैट मीन्स सिंपली वी कैन से दैट द पी आई आर सेंसर इज ए सेंसर विच इज यूज टू डिटेक्ट द मोशन ऑफ द लिविंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स लाइक द ह्यूमन बॉडी ओके ऑल लिविंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स हुज बॉडी टेम्परेचर इज मोर दैन जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस इमिट्स द हीट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इंफ्रारेड रेडिएशन through their body also called as thermal radiations and this thing we all know that all living bodies like humans animals emits heat these heats are emitted in the form of infrared radiations okay this radiated energy is invisible to our human eye these signals can be detected by using pir sensor which is specially designed for such purposes okay in a passive infrared sensor passive word indicates pir sensor does not generate or radiate any energy for detection purpose this is the very important thing is that here the passive word indicates that this sensor does not generate or radiate any kind of energy okay PIR sensors does not does not detect or measure heat they detect the infrared radiation emitted or reflected from the objects okay that means the passive infrared sensor is the sensor is detects only the infrared radiations okay this sensor does not detect any kind of heat our human body or the any type of animal body radiate heat in the form of infrared radiations and these infrared radiations are detected by this pir sensor i hope you all understand the infrared radiation and the heat the detected radiations are converted into an electrical charge which is proportional to the detected level of the radiation the pir sensor range is up to 10 meters at an angle of plus 15 degree or minus 15 degree okay i hope you all understand the basic concept about the passive infrared sensor now let's see the pin configuration of the pir sensor generally the pir sensor has three pins pin number 1 which is vcc pin number second which is output pin and pin number third which is a ground pin the pin number first correspond to the drain terminal of the device which should be connected to the positive supply plus 5 volt dc this is the pin number first of the pir sensor which is connected with the vcc plus 5 volt dc okay the pin number second corresponds to the source terminal of the device we should be connected to the ground terminal via a resistor of 100k or 47k and it is a output pin this is the pin number second which is the output pin and it is connected through a resistor which is having value 100k or 47k to the ground okay and the third pin pin number third is connected to the ground that means this pin is a ground pin i hope you all understand the pin configuration of pir sensor let's see once again the pin number first is vcc which is connected to plus 5 volt dc source pin number second is output pin which is connected to a ground through a resistor of 100 kilo ohm or 47 kilo ohm and pin number third is a ground pin okay 
Now let's see the working principle of the PIR sensor. Here we can see the diagram in which this is the PIR sensor, this is the Fresnel lens, this is detecting area, heat source, major movement, this is the human body that means warm body which radiates infrared radiations and how this PIR sensor works. Let's see. The PIR sensors are more complicated than other sensors as they consist two slots. That means for the detection purpose the PIR sensor has two slots like this first slot and this second slot. Okay. These slots are made up of a special material which is sensitive to IR. The Fresnel lens is used to see that the two slots of the PIR can see out the past some distance. This Fresnel lens is used here to detect the infrared radiations radiated or coming from the large surface area like this. Okay. When the sensor is inactive, then the two slots sense the same amount of infrared radiations. Okay, that means when there is no any human body or any living body which emits the infrared radiations, then the output of the two slot is same. Okay, the output of two slot is same. Now, when a human body or any animal passes by then it intercepts the first slot of the PIR sensor. That means when the human body or any animal passes through this PIR sensor or passes through the first slot, then it intercepts this path. Okay. Hence, this causes a positive difference change between the two bisects. When the living body crosses the first intersect, then there is a positive differential change like this. Okay. When the human body leaves the sensing area, the sensor generates a negative differential change between the two bisects like this. I hope you all understand the operation here. Let's see once again. The PIR sensor has two slots. Slot 1 and slot 2. It also has the Fresnel lens to concentrate the radiation in the slot. Okay, When any human body or living body passes through the first slot like this passes through the first slot then a positive differential change occurs when the body leaves the second slot then it creates the negative differential change this shows that the human body or the living body crosses the PIR sensor. Okay, I hope you all understand. The better understanding is done with this animation here. In this animation, we can see that the human body passes through this line. Okay, when this passes to first slot, then a positive differential change occurs and when it passes this or leaves the sensor then negative differential change occurs okay i hope you all now better understand the working of the pir sensor now let's see the pir sensor construction the infrared sensor itself is housed in a hermetically sealed metal to improve her humidity, temperature, noise or immunity. There is a window, this window, there is a window which is made up of typically coated silicon material to protect the sensing element. Okay, this is the Fresnel lens, okay, which is placed over the sensor to collect the infrared radiations in the slot. Okay, I hope you all understand the construction of the PIR sensor. Now, let's see the advantages of PIR sensor. It detects 
motion reliably in indoors as well as in day or dark it consumes less energy near about 0.8 watt to 1 watt compared to microwave sensors they are cheaper compared to the microwave sensors they are good for electrical applications used in smaller and compact premises let's see the disadvantages of pir sensors the first one is they have lower sensitivity and less coverage compared to the microwave sensor it does not operate greater than 35 degree celsius it works effectively in los los stands for line of sight and it will have problems in the corner regions it is insensitive to very slow motion of the object since pir sense sensor sense heat signatures in the room they are not very sensitive if the room itself is warm hence pir sensor are not able to detect human beings in the summer in some countries like india okay these are the disadvantages of the pir sensor let's see once again the pir sensor has low sensitivity and less coverage area okay the pir sensor does not operate uh, operate when the temperature is greater than 35 degree celsius it works effectively in line of sight that means in this type of area only this type of area line of sight but if the body is in corner region then it is hard to detect the infrared radiation of the corner regions okay it is insensitive to very slow motion of the object since these are also not used in india in summers okay because in summers the temperature of the room is very warm hence it is not is used in the countries like india in summer let's see the applications of the pir sensor the pir sensor used in lightning control smart home and iot applications motion detection using pir sensor automatic door opening system security alarm system based on pir sensor human detection robot using pir sensor multifunction printers and video conference systems i hope you all understand the concept and the working of pir sensor thank you